We're looking at buying the three different communities. The first community is the Falls of Dry Creek. This is the least expensive of the three communities, but they only have one lot available for us to build on. The next community is Brisland. Brisland is the most expensive of the three communities. They boast numerous lakes and numerous parks. The very large community would like a lot of availability for you to be able to build on. The next is Town Lake. Town Lake is the actual middle ground of the actual three. They have a recreational lake, which allows motorboat access. They also have a boardwalk for you to be able to enjoy in the two different model homes. The first model home is the Chatham and the second is a Bacardi 2. Which house should we move into? Feel TV, Phillips Fan, Feel TV, Phillips Fan, Feel TV, Phillips Fan, Feel TV, for Phillips Fan. Can we help me with the Falls of Dry Creek? This is one of the communities that we're looking at buying. It's a subdivision. I think it's pretty cool, but it's very homey. Falls of Dry Creek. This is one of the communities that we're looking at. This is the least expensive community that we're looking to purchase in on. It's between Falls and Dry Creek, Grizzly, and Town Lake. That's the estates, the bougie part of it. Of course, I'm going to build in one section. We have a few little lakes, too. We do a little small man made stuff here. It's, it's cute. place right there so right now I'm going to um, the land they're trying to tell us over here there's only one lot that we can build on and it's a party so you can't build a Chatham here anymore and so I want to look at the actual land and there's also a model Chatham home that has the exact elevation that we're looking at buying and so I'm going over here to kind of get like a last look at the house that's being built and uh this here, my friend, is the actual land that they're trying to sell us. Selling the big lot, bro. It's a nice size lot, bro. If I zoom out, I really can't. Are you That's the eyesore. So, will I be able to look at this every single day? Now, what I have right now is a whole lot better than that. Now, now the beauty of it is there's no house behind you, but you have this big old water reserve or water deal back here. I don't like that at all. That's a deal breaker. Here's the Chatham. This is the house that we were looking at buying. Between this house, this model, the car. This is somebody's house right here, but this is the exact model that we were looking at getting. And with that model, it's a whole lot cheaper over here in this community. And that's the exact elevation that we want. The model home is a different elevation, it's a more expensive elevation, but this is the elevation that we were talking about going for. And it looks better than I thought it did. It's a cute home, it's a country looking home. This is the community center. And inside the community center, these guys have fitness. You also have lake access. 
one thing to keep in mind is that a lot of these hills, this is the park splash pad. I don't know if there's a community pool. You see at an actual water fountain. Like the swans over there. The mini waterfall. By far the most affordable community, but you don't have all the actual amenities that other communities have. And they have no waterfront lots available. Lots that they do have are very expensive, and so it kind of scares me about wanting to have waterfront in town late. Definitely goes with Good people, man. I just arrived in um, Brisbane. I'm um, looking at the actual Chatham 2 again. Uh, well, not the Chatham 2, oh God. I'm looking at the actual Chatham again. The Chatham's the actual model home that we're looking at getting us a next gen home. It's the bigger of the two that we're actually looking at that we boiled down to. This is in Bridgeland. This is only going to be available to us here in Bridgeland. Um, when you look at what we have in um, the creek, well, Falls at Dry Creek, uh, that community is about sold out. They have one lot left. That lot is not the best lot. It's uh, pretty big and spacious. There's nobody behind you, but it's an eyesore. You know, what I have right now is a land, uh, land that's actually on like an actual reserve and so it's a retention pond basically it's like whatever rain a lot you know it feels it looks like a little bit of a lake but i have an iron rod fence in the back and it's very nice and so i don't want to spend extra money to leave my house to come somewhere to where i have to go in the backyard i love being outside my backyard have my palm trees out there if i go to the falls of drucky mountain i have my pool out there and so i don't want to have the eyesore um it, it's like a lot of a lot of old rubbish um you know kind of like some little dying looking trees and then there's like an actual water reserve it's kind of water water facility behind the house and so i see what a lot hasn't sold even though there's nobody behind you as far as an actual neighbor and so um i'm coming here again to kind of get a view of the chatham i want to get like a last look at it i know it's a little bit more bigger or spacious than the uh bacardi too but they both have six bedrooms they both have a next gen suite for grand ladies and um uh one's in bridgeland one's in town they both are immaculate communities uh Bridgeland is a little bit more per square foot as far as pricing, uh, but Town Lake, HOA fees are more. Bridgeland has more to offer. It's a huge community. It's probably too big, uh, but they have a good vision here. But I like Town Lake's flavor. I mean, man, they got everything I want. I mean, I, I'm from Florida. I love water. And so Town Lake is winning in my heart and um, actually in my actual pocketbook as well. Uh, but we're going to look at the channel one more time and um, take it from there. Deuces. I keep it a little bit, man. The camera thing right here. I'm so flipping them. With the elevation that we want, this is the uh, most expensive elevation at the home. I don't like it that much. It's a country look to it, but it is a big house. It's beautiful on the inside. Again, just like the actual Picardia, when you see the model home, right where the actual office is next to the garage, there's actually like another garage door there. So it's a three car garage, but the models, for some reason, they, they kind of make you think that you have an extra window right there. But let's take a look. Let's go inside. Right, so this is the Chatham, and this is at Bridgeland. Uh, last time I talked, they have a uh, new land opening up by Dragonfly Park. And uh, the next gen suite is a whole lot more spacious than what you have in the Bacardi. The Bacardi, too, is nice, but you get a whole lot more in the next gen suite. And so the Chatham is a more spacious plan, but they both fit our needs. But I, I can definitely feel the difference. Even the hall space. And this is the bedroom, and the Bacardi, the bedroom is on the end, and the restroom is right here in the center. So, the bedroom, about the same size, roughly, probably a little bit bigger in here. But look at the closet. The closet is roughly the same. Shouldn't need that much closet space anyway because we have to keep our clothes from them. This is the extra door. And this is the towel closet. I don't know if the other one has a towel closet or not. I can look in there. Uh, but the restroom is nice and spacious. Again, no shower, but you have to see here for it to sit at.
is a whole lot more spacious. Now one major factor that we don't like about this model anymore is that they don't do the rounded corners or the indentures in the wall anymore. It's not available in this model, but it is still available on the Picardi too for now. But it's still a very beautiful home. Both homes are very similar, but this one does give you more space. The hallways appear to be a little bit wider, um, a little bit more space. This is the garage. I'm not gonna go into that, but this is your mud room. It's positioned a little bit different. I think it's more convenient just to walk across as opposed to having to turn around and get the mud room on the other side as far as the Bacardi 2. But the washroom seems bigger in the Bacardi 2. So, you know, you have, oh, like the lights come on. You have your washer, dryer, your cabinets. You can put your changing table right here. But there's also an actual closet space in the Bacardi 2 that you're gonna have here in the chat. But again, the Chatham is a bigger home. It's more square footage, more room. In comparison, this is the guest restroom, which is a full restroom. It has a shower, tub, but not a tub, but a shower and a toilet. And it's very similar too. And these restrooms are identical. I mean, this, this uh, bedroom is identical to the Bacardi. So, so this bedroom, you don't lose or gain square footage. Same bedroom, same type closet. It's in a different place. The closet's over here, I think. Uh, in this room and then probably against this wall, I don't remember if you see the video, but the room is exactly the same. No loss or gains in square footage here. And you see you have the high ceilings and go all the way to the top, have a mini catwalk. Now this is where the difference comes in. Uh, this is where you lose the square footage. This is about a couple of hundred square feet, some change bigger than the Bacardi. You're gonna lose square footage in this living area. Uh, houses are identical though. I mean, they're, they're designed almost just alike. Both are very beautiful homes. All the architectural design is not included, but again, you don't have none of these actual indentures in here anymore. They're making everything more modernized now. And then this is the next space where you actually gain compared to the Bacardi. This kitchen is a kitchen. It looks a whole lot better here in the Chatham than it does in the Bacardi. You get a whole lot more space. In the Bacardi, you have, instead of having these two cabinets next to each other, you have one on each side. So you're losing one, two, three, four, all these different cabinets. You're losing a whole lot of cabinets, which we don't really use that much. And then here you get a double oven standard. With there you get one oven, the microwave, and then your range top over here. A double oven, oven under the range top is an upgrade for $6,000, but both have dining areas. Um, this one's a little more wider, the other one's a little longer, but there is more space in the kitchen and dining and living room area when you compare it to the Bacardi. Pantries are similar, so I'm not gonna go into the pantry. We let the architecture design on the walls up here, but that's something you can't even get as a number. You have to get your own private contractor to do something like that. The family already saw this house, but I didn't get the recording, and so we're all gonna record here. Um, the master bedroom is a little bit bigger in the Bacardi 2. Not that much bigger, but it really doesn't feel any different at all. Um, it's very beautiful here though. The backyard, the lots here are tiny. Um, they're kind of small in both places, but I think they're a little bit bigger in Town Lake, but still very nice. I think Crown Motor is an upgrade here. I don't think Village Builders give you that, but now I do see the difference on the master bathroom appears to be a, a tad bit smaller here also. Um, actually, these sinks are on two different sides, so it's the same. Um, this smaller sink in the Bacardi would be on the left side as opposed to the right side of the tub, and then you have the tub, and then the larger sink is on the right as opposed to the left, and so they kind of switch sides. Uh, both showers are the same, they're identical, still very beautiful up in here. My wife said that she had more space in the other closet Oh boy, in, in this closet as opposed to the Bacardi, we're gonna double check that out right now. You said it wraps around, but it doesn't wrap around. So there's not really that much more space, if any at all. You may have an extra 
slot here that you don't have, but it really didn't fully wrap around. I think the other closet may be bigger, so I think you're wrong, Tiff. But it's still a lot of space, a lot of different shelves that we can use. Um, but I don't really see an actual ad or game. But a whole lot more shelving though. Still very beautiful. Uh, but I think that the restroom and the master bedroom is bigger in the Bacardi too. But again, this is a bigger home. So we're gonna take a look upstairs. This is another area where you're gonna not really gain square footage, it's probably the same. I think one's more, you might get like a, if it's one's like a 11 by 20, maybe like a 11 by 21, I, I think it's just shape different. But both game rooms are kind of smaller. This one feels deeper, but um, still a nice game room. This is open for you. Game room loft area. Definitely have to get me an interior designer. Now this is another difference. This is an optional media room, but this media room is more spacious um, in comparison to the Bacardi. Now what I like about this media room, a little bit, that's like actually better than the other one, is that you don't really feel the space where you actually have the sitting area and the TV area, but it is bigger, it's a little wider. But I like this area. You have this section, and for me this is important. For my media room, I wanna have a popcorn machine and like a little bar table that gives me all the movie theater candy because I have good surround sound set up. I'm gonna have an 80 inch TV up in here on the wall and we're gonna boom it out. We're gonna boom it out. I'm not gonna have a man cave. I used to want my man cave real bad, but I heard the guy on HGTV in Austin, a black man that retired with his wife. He was like, I don't want no man cave, I want a couple's cave. I want to be alone, oh, man. I want to be alone. So you kind of hit me in the head with that. I don't like that though, man. So that kind of fly. I agree with it. Now the rooms are all really designed the same in both homes. Again, you have your Jack and Jill bedrooms, your TJ and Kaylee's area. Walk in here, the closets are exactly the same. The rooms are. It's saying this room feels a little bit tighter, but I think they're the same size. Matter of fact, it is tighter. This room was like a 12 by 10, the Bacardi 2, and this room was a 12 by 11. Other rooms are exactly the same size, but this one is a little bit smaller than the other room, and I can tell. I can feel it. It's not that big of a difference, but I can feel it. And this is the actual sink for this part of the Jack and Jill. Very nice design. Uh, everything's laid out nicely inside these models. Make you really want to buy. That's a throne. And they all have the actual arches here. Again, the number one. There's two things I don't like about the channel. I think the outside design is ugly, even though I wouldn't see it in the actual model that we wanted again. It looked like a little better than what it was, but like it is more of a country home. This is the other Jack and Jill scene. But I can't have my arch entries. It's not even an actual option for an upgrade anymore. They don't want to do it, they want to make it to where the homes are more modern and more sleek and then for some reason I, I think that's an actual terrible thing for village builders they don't even give you the option to do it some people want the new sleek boring look without the actual arches and without the wall indentures some people hate that but i'm traditional i'm old school i guess i'm finally old now i like that better it feels more homey but this is the other bedroom this is tj and kaylee space and if you can see brisland does have a lot of nice lakes a lot of nice parks they have zip lining out here Brisbane is a nice community. It just doesn't really pop to me. It seems more country. They have everything out here. I mean, it's, it's, it's a massive community. This is only one part. We may go by Dragonfly Park just to look at it. I want to see where all the hype is, but I like the feel of Town Lake better, in all honesty. Now, this other bedroom will be Kiara's bedroom. And the bedroom is the same size. You still have the actual corner room to where all the actual slants are in the wall up here 
And so this is her room. And then just like the other one, this is her closet. And access to the attic in the back of the house on this side. So both houses has, these houses are very identical, as you will see in the video. And then this would be Kira's bathroom, which will also be all their guest restroom up here and upstairs in the area. But still a very nice place. I'm actually loving it. Um, I think the channel is nice, but so far I haven't felt anything that will make me say that I would rather have this house than the Bacardi as opposed to the kitchen and the next gen suite. This is their towel closet. So there you have it folks. We just toured the Bacardi. I gave you guys all access. I've met the Bacardi the channel. This is all access. Um, we're gonna choose between this and the Bacardi 2, Bridgeland or Town Lake. It was looking like it's more Town Lake, but we'll see in the end which one's gonna give us the actual best deal. I wanna price waterfront property and see how much it's gonna cost. If it's too expensive, we might teeter towards either one or the two, but I think the Bacardi is a very good home. It's a very good option. I think it's a better looking home on the outside as far as elevation, but this is a more spacious home. And then both the prize communities, but Bridgeland is a little bit better. And it's, um, for lack of better words, it's prestige. Um, it has like more weight to its name right now, but both communities are immaculate. Both are very good communities. And so we're looking at these two. Uh, thanks for viewing.